welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I thought we could do a really fun, short, sweet, little creative reading about animal spirit guides and which ones are currently around you or working with you right now. I felt really inspired to do this just because, I don't know, I wanted to try something a little bit different um, for the channel where we can really kind of do a little bit more self-exploration. Uh, but also, I personally am somebody who is very aware and attentive of what animals are around me. Um, so I can share a couple of examples with you guys. Like, there's been times in my life where I have noticed cardinals, the bird, all around me all of the time. That's actually still one that I notice all the time. Um, I've had times in my life where dragonflies have been all of a sudden, like all around me all the time, which was so strange because like, you know, that's kind of an animal that I feel is a little bit rare. You don't necessarily just see a dragonfly every day, but there was a week period of time where I was seeing them all the time. And then also I've had animals come to me in my dreams before too. And I'm always really curious to kind of learn and understand what it is that these animals mean and why am I seeing them all the time. Um, so it's definitely cool to learn kind of the deeper meaning behind that and what message comes along with it. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today, but I'm gonna be using some Oracle decks and tarot decks to uncover the animal spirit guides that are working with you right now. So here's what we're gonna be working with. We're gonna be using the Spirit Animal Oracle. I'm also going to be using messages from your animal spirit guides and then from the tarot we're going to use an animal themed tarot called the spirit song tarot so i do just want to pace out for you guys um number one i always have to say these readings are general in nature so please take whatever resonates with you um but leave behind anything that doesn't feel like it's super specific to your situation it's it's no worries um, but the second thing I wanted to say is like, I am by no means an expert on every animal or what the spirit guide means, um, or what the animal does <laughs> necessarily in its everyday life. I do have a decent amount of knowledge, but I'm not, I don't, I'm not a library. I don't know all of it. So I would definitely encourage you guys that like whatever messages you're getting, whatever animals are popping up as significant for you, I would encourage you to Google it and look it up and see you know, in addition to the messages that I'm going to give you in today's video, look it up and see what else you can find out about these animals because there's so many different meanings and reasons why we might see a pattern or we might see an animal popping up all the time, okay? So with that being said, um, today's reading is going to be a pick a card reading. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a close up of the card selection that we have to choose from right now. All right, guys, so here are our four selections for today's animal reading. So we've got pile one, pile two, pile three, and pile four. So let's take the next few seconds to sort of calm down our energy, really center yourself, take a few deep breaths, and allow your intuition to choose the card or crystal that resonates the most. I will have the timestamps linked down below so that you can fast forward to your reading. Hey guys, so if you chose group number one, which was this little um, rhodochrosite crystal, let's go ahead and see what animal messages we have for you today. So we're gonna start with your first card. Ooh, okay, so we have the Eagle Spirit. Spirit has your back. So I feel like the first message that's really coming through um, when I see this card, when I think of, of the Eagle, to me, um, the Eagle is able to see things from a much greater perspective, from a higher perspective, right? Because they live really high up in the trees. They're flying really, really high, able to really get a clear viewpoint of everything that's going on below them. Um, and as I was saying, from a much greater perspective. So I do feel like there's already a message coming through here about, you know, maybe for you guys personally zooming the lens out and being able to look at the bigger picture. Um, we also have the message here that says spirit has your back. So I think there's also a need here or a message here for you about just making sure that you, um, kind of surrender, right? Like I, I kind of think of, if you're familiar with tarot, I think of the hanged man energy, which is about like taking a pause again, to see things from a higher perspective. So I think this is just a message coming through for you to ensure that, or to make sure that 
you kind of like release the need to control a situation or um, release any fears you're having about whatever your current circumstances are because spirit is working in your favor uh, toward your highest good right now. So let's see what other cards you guys got. Okay, so we also have the meerkat. Get support from a trusted group of like-minded friends. And then we have the temperance. Very interesting. All right, so the message of the meerkat, get support from a trusted group of like-minded friends. Um, this makes a lot of sense because again, when I think of this animal, the meerkat, this is an animal that lives with its family and friends. They live in groups, right? Um, so I feel like whatever it is that you guys are currently going through in your life right now, whatever it is that you may be having a challenge with, the message here of the meerkat is around making sure that you're aligned with people who see things from a similar perspective that you see it. If you're finding yourself in a space of like resistance with the people in your life or feeling energetically out of alignment with something, you're going to feel more balanced and you're going to feel more supported if you're able to align yourself with people who view the world in a similar way from a similar perspective that you do. So your, your animal spirit guides that are working with you right now are the eagle spirit and the meerkat. Now we also have the message here of temperance, which has the zebra on it. Um, so this speaks to balance and harmony. And that, I feel like this makes a lot of sense. Um, when we were talking about this eagle spirit energy, we were really speaking to kind of surrendering, seeing things from a higher perspective, um, allowing spirit or whoever, whatever you believe in to take care of it for you behind the scenes. And I feel like that's very much the message that's coming through with the temperance card as well, because temperance is all about being patient and allowing things to happen in divine timing for you. So I feel like that temperance message just further affirms the need for you to really allow this energy of the, the eagle spirit, um, to take care of you right now, just being patient allowing things to happen exactly in the timing that they're supposed to happen. And I think too, when we look at this message of harmony, that's written right here on the card, you know, you guys being able to blend yourself together with people who, like we were saying, have similar sentiments of you, see the world from a similar perspective. Um, that's going to help to bring you some personal balance. And I think will help whatever this is that you guys are, you know, moving through, struggling with, um, working on, I think being united with people that you feel like you're in harmony with will help the time go by a little bit faster, right? Cause you'll be enjoying yourself a little bit more and you'll be enjoying, you know, life a bit more if you're not feeling the resistance of people around you who are super different or maybe challenging you in some way. So this is a really cool reading. I would love to hear what's going on in your guys' lives. So as I was mentioning, the Eagle Spirit and the Meerkat Spirit are what's working with you right now. I would definitely recommend um, researching more into these animals and like the symbolism behind them and what it means. Um, Cause I think you'll be able to find a lot of really cool information to help further support what we talked about in this reading. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. I will see you in the next reading. Hey guys, so if you chose group two, which was this little yellow stone, let's go ahead and see what animal spirit guides are working with you right now. Ooh, okay. So the first message coming through for you guys is the rhino spirit. That's kind of interesting. I think that this came up in another reading that I did earlier this week. Um, so maybe this is for the same person that watched that particular reading. Uh, but the rhino spirit, this is a really powerful energy. Um, you can see here it says overcome any obstacle. That's definitely the vibe that I get when I think of a rhino. So I do feel like, you know, there's a message here for you to channel your inner power and also to be able to be more independent. When I think of the rhino, the animal of the rhino, they're a very independent animal. They do not live around like other rhinos necessarily. Usually they're very solitary and it's usually them and maybe like one other or maybe a mother with their baby. You're not gonna find like a herd of them running around together all of the time, right? So I do think there's a message here for you guys to ensure that you're 
being independent and really mustering up that inner strength and that inner courage to be able to push forward through whatever obstacles or challenges are coming your way, okay? Let's see what other animal spirit guide is working with you right now. Ooh, so we have the panda. Create a sacred space for yourself in your home and or place of work. This is really interesting because again, with panda, this is an animal that is mostly independent. I mean, they might live in smaller groups, but it's not like you're gonna see tons of pandas like running around, you know, in the world together, like in the environment together. They, they're they pretty solitary and keep to themselves. Um, and then we have the five of acorns, which we'll get to in a second. But I definitely feel with this message of the panda, you know, like this, maybe you guys are experiencing some challenges right now or some obstacles around the workplace, um, challenges and obstacles around your home life specifically. There's, there's definitely with this five of acorns come, popping up right next to this, which is the five of wands, there is definitely this energy, this element that I'm getting from your entire reading about some sort of challenge that you're going through in your life, some sort of conflict, some sort of like maybe competition, Maybe some of you guys are dealing with a really competitive environment at work. Maybe some of you are really like um, feeling like you have to be competitive to secure a job right now. Um, there's definitely this vibe of obstacles being in your way. So with the message of the Panda Spirit, this is about making sure that you have a space to be able to really center yourself and um, balance yourself back out so that you're not feeling the effects of this conflict all the time, 24 seven. You definitely have the skills that you need to be able to push through whatever this is. And I do see that as you navigate through this challenge, it's gonna propel you forward into growth, which is great. Um, without challenge, we don't have growth, right? If everything just stays easy and simple and exactly the same, we just stay the same. So um, with that being said, even though you guys have the strength and the stamina to really push through to the next level and to get through whatever this obstacle is that's being thrown on your path, you still want to make sure that you're in a space of feeling centered. So if that means that you have like maybe one room in your house or one room in your apartment that's just for you and it just has like your things that you like that make you feel comfortable, maybe it's a place that you can go in your house to work on whatever hobby read a book, whatever that might, that might be for you. Everybody's different. You want to make sure that you intentionally create that space for yourself so that you have time to unplug and decompress and recenter yourself. Same thing if this is a conflict at work. You know, work can definitely be a bit more challenging because a lot of times we work, I know a lot of us, you know, work um, in environments where we don't necessarily have control over the environment and we don't have control over the space, right? Um, but it, it's still important to find some balance when it comes to your work life as well. So if you work in an office setting, is there like a courtyard area outside where you can go and sit for five minutes by yourself? If you work in a store, is there a way that you can exit the store and find a little space like, you know, in the cut or whatever, where you can hang out and just chill for five minutes to center yourself? Again, it's going to be different for everybody, but um, whatever resonates most with you, you want to just make sure that you have that protected time and space to be able to recharge yourself so that you're better equipped to push through these challenges. Very, very interesting. You guys have to let me know what's going on in your life. Leave me a comment down below. And as I was mentioning, definitely look up the rhino and the panda to see what additional messages you might find. I know for me, um, whenever I get a card like this or whenever I see a specific animal like in my dreams or just out and about all the time, I like to look it up and see what other meanings are behind it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next reading. Bye. Hey guys, so if you chose group number three, which was this little, oop, I believe this is, oh my gosh, I keep throwing it everywhere. It's a little moss agate. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see what animal spirit guides are working with you right now. Ooh, okay, so your first message is the bat, the message of the bat spirit. A rebirth is assured. Ooh, this is very, very interesting. And we do also have the number five here, which indicates maybe a time of challenge. Um, okay, so whenever I think of a bat, I think about how they're primarily active at night and they live in caves. They live, they almost like, 
thrive in the darkness, if that makes sense. So I definitely am getting the vibe right now that maybe some of you guys are passing through a time of darkness, a dark night of the soul, as I've heard it called before. Um, or if it doesn't feel dark necessarily to you, it may just feel like there is some sort of challenging energy um, that's present in your life right now or some sort of change or rebirth that is happening for you. Um, so I'm definitely feeling like there's a need here to sort of like release and let this happen. The other thing that's really catching my eye when I look at the bat spirit and when I think of bats in general, we know that the way that they like rest and rejuvenate themselves is like they hang upside down and they fold their wings over top of them for protection, almost like a cocoon, right? So I definitely think that whatever it is that you guys are moving through, you want to make sure that you are releasing the need to control the situation and really surrendering hanging out, allowing whatever this rebirth is to happen for you because when you move through this, it's meant to change and evolve you for the better. But let's see what other animal spirit is working with you right now. What other messages do we have? Okay, so we have the spider. And then let me pull your tarot card too. So we also have the chariot here as well. Okay. So you guys also have the spider. You guys have two animals here working with you that I feel are primarily active at night. I think for me, especially when I think of spiders, ugh, they really creep me out. I know that they're not bad necessarily, but <laughs> I feel like they're the most active at night. At least that's when I tend to see them the most. Uh, there's, a, I think this animal spirit is working with me as well because there's a ton of spiders that I see constantly around my apartment, right? Um, so the spider message says, trust the creative spark you're feeling and express it through writing stories that inspire and enlighten. So maybe for a lot of you guys, you're passing through a time of creativity. Um, when I think of spiders, I think of how they are able to work meticulously to weave these webs um, where they live and where they're able to capture their prey and things like that. You know, that's a very creative type of energy that an animal is expelling, being able to like build and weave this really interesting, intricate web for itself, right? So maybe a lot of you guys are moving through a time where you are working on a creative project or something that feels very creatively inspiring to you. Um, I do feel intuitively like maybe a lot of you guys are working on it at nighttime for some reason, just with these two animals feeling like for me, they're the most active at night. Um, but I feel like this is actually really positive too, like the way I'm seeing both of those energies of those animals together. It's like both of them, it's like, I feel like they have to work really hard to um, kind of like get the results that they want to get. And the other thing too is like when I think of both of these animals, a lot of people don't really enjoy them particularly, right? Like when you think of a bat or a spider, it's like most people are not going to say, oh yeah, that's my favorite animal. If anything, they're fearful of these animals. Um, so maybe there's something that you guys are working on right now creatively or some sort of project or something you're involved in that maybe other people don't necessarily agree with, or maybe they don't necessarily like it, or maybe they're not necessarily understanding the point of it right now. Um, but I feel like these messages are coming through just as to reassure you that you are on the right path. And you need to go ahead and continue to trust your intuition and trust that whatever this is that you're building for yourself, that you're transforming in your life, is going to propel you forward in the right direction. I feel this is further clarified here by the message of the chariot, which is all about being super focused and intent on whatever your goals are. Um, you can see here on this particular tarot card, it says discipline and determination. So for sure, like, in order to weave the web, right, the spider has to be di disciplined and determined. It can't stop and take a million breaks because it's got to eat, right? So I feel like that's the kind of energy that you guys are being called to embody right now with these animals supporting you. It's like you want to make sure that whatever you're working on, you're keeping your eye on the prize, um, moving through it with a sense of urgency, with a sense of purpose, not allowing any distractions to pull you off your course because at the end of the day, you got to eat, right? <laughs> Quote unquote. Um, but I'm definitely seeing with this chariot energy here that you going through this rebirth process, you going through this building phase of whatever it is that you're working on, it's going to propel you forward, um, catapult you forward towards success, which I think it feels really, really positive. Um, so this is a really cool reading for you, Group 3. You definitely drop me a comment down below and let me know what it is that you guys have going on in your life right now. 
and um, let me know have you been seeing any of these animals popping up for you lately the bat spirit or the spider um, are there any other animals that you've been seeing popping up here and there let me know um, thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one bye hey guys so if you chose pile four which is this little rose quartz heart let's see what animal spirit guides are working with you right now all right, so your first message is the message of the frog spirit. This says, clear out the clutter. Okay, so <laughs> with the frog spirit, especially with it saying clear out the clutter, one of the things that really comes to mind for me for frogs is that they're so freaking noisy and there's always, I feel like whenever you hear them, there's always like a million of them all together croaking and making a lot of noise at the same time. So I'm definitely feeling with the message of this frog spirit, um, this spirit guide of the frog, I do feel like there's a need for you guys to kind of like tune out the noise all around you, whether it's physically noise that you're hearing all the time, you're in a chaotic environment, or whether it just means for you getting rid of any distractions that are preventing you from accomplishing whatever it is that you need to accomplish right now. Um, so let's see what other animal spirit guide is working with you. All right, so we also have the octopus. This says, practice shape-shifting by altering your physical appearance and mannerisms. Ooh, that's really cool. And then let me pull your tarot cards. So we can just have all the cards. So we have the Ace of Crystals, which is the Ace of Pentacles. So with this octopus spirit guide, I definitely feel... So one of the things that's cool about this animal, um, if you guys don't know, is that in order for the octopus to defend itself or protect itself in the wild, it actually has this really cool ability to change colors um, so that it can blend in with its surroundings. So it does that so that predators are not able to easily see it or spot it. You know, so it really is in alignment with the message that's here on this, um, on this card, which is about shape-shifting, altering your physical appearance and mannerisms. So I do think that there is some sort of message here for you guys around adaptability, being able to be maybe a bit more flexible with people, being flexible with your needs, surroundings, whatever it is for you. I definitely feel with this Ace of uh, Pentacles that there's, there's something in your life that many of you guys are trying to like manifest, um, whether this is like a business opportunity, something that's going to bring you financial prosperity in the long run. There's for sure some sort of a seed that you're wanting to plant and water in your life right now or that you're trying to plant and water in your life right now um, that's meant to bring you some sort of success in the material realm. But in order to do that, you've got to allow yourself to get really focused and be a little bit more flexible um, and adaptable. You know, because octopuses are very... You know they're flexible <laughs> um there's also a message here that i'm getting especially when it says like altering your physical appearance so maybe there's a need here for you guys to figure out how you can adapt or blend in a little bit better with whatever environment it is that you're trying to manifest this prosperity um so if you guys are starting like a new job somewhere um Maybe some of you guys are trying to start a certain business, right? Like let's say you're starting a job or a new career path somewhere. You wanna make sure that you are, you know, like acclimating to whatever that environment is physically. So if that means like, you know, making sure that, it, that you're presenting yourself physically a certain way or whatever that means, like that's the message in this for you. Some of you guys are trying to start a business. I feel like there's a need to maybe figure out you know what it is that your target audience is looking for and be able to like shift or pivot or present yourself in a way that's going to appeal to whoever your target audience is but either way i feel it's super important especially with this frog showing up here is like to make sure that you're clear about where it is that you're going and what it is that you want and while you're adapting and being flexible and kind of like i'm almost getting like putting feelers out there <laughs> doing research on whatever it is that you need to research to get this off the ground. You wanna make sure that you're not allowing outside influences to deter you or distract you from moving forward toward this path. You know, on this card, I can see there's a clear path ahead here that you guys are wanting to walk down. So this is really cool, really interesting. So your animal spirit guides of significance right now are the frog spirit and the octopus. So 
As I was mentioning to the other groups, you guys should definitely look these animals up more and see if you can find any additional meanings. There's so many different meanings for different animals out there. Um, and comment below, let me know how this resonated. Have you been seeing frogs lately or octopus lately? Um, I'm curious, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you taking the time and I will see you in the next one.